Hey Primer friends, today's video is all about supplements, what diet that I choose to adhere to. So we're going to start off with Mitopore, which is a supplement that's available. All of these are actually available on my site, joyablemac.com. And Mitopore is super awesome because it's a multivitamin. I really love making like getting one of those pill boxes and just making my vitamins once a week. And I take vitamins in the morning and the evening and they are so great for recovery and making sure I have the nutrients that I need. They help me actually perform to my maximum ability. So Mitocore is great because it has basically all the different vitamins that you need in a small dose. There's even L-carbonine, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D3, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, B6, and B12, a description on my site. And that goes in my morning vitamins. Vitamin C goes in my evening and my morning vitamins. Mitochondria Recharge, which is something exclusively available on my site, and it's amazing because it basically makes your mitochondria and your cells fire even more than they should. So it makes you be able to have more energy, be more alert, and I swear it changed my muscle definition in my life. MagTech is super awesome. I take at least one, and if I'm stressed out, two or three even at night, and it's magnesium, but it also helps you get to sleep, and it helps your memory for the next day. So it's important to take these if you're learning new choreography or if you're in a big block of performances just so that you're able to recover and be able to dance your best the next day. Omega-3, this Omega-3 is one of my favorites. It is so, so good, and it just helps me with my flexibility. I've struggled in the past with um, early onset arthritis in my hips, and especially after doing PRP, I take two in the morning and two at night, and I swear sitting in the middle splits is super comfy. <laughs> L-carpenine is really important to me when I'm training, especially after having a break. It can really help me um, get back into shape faster than I would um, regardless. I tend to do a week on and a week off and I vary my doses. Uh, what it does is it helps you cut fat and helps you metabolize uh, faster. So if I'm having a big workload, I tend to just take one in the morning. If I don't have such a big workload, I take two and it just really helps me keep my muscle definition and stay long and lean um, and cut. Cognitive balance, I swear by this. This helps you literally see colors brighter, remember things, be alert, and be able to function. And I take four of these in the morning and it just really helps your brain fire. And it's super, super, super awesome. Holy basil is something that I take when I'm under a lot of stress and either struggling with a lot of depression or just under difficult situations at work or personal life like this is something that's really great for taking one in the evening um, probably 30 minutes before bed and it just helps you really just calm down um, sometimes i take a hot bath and i take a holy basil and it just helps me really get in the mode for sleeping so those are just a few of the supplements that i take all of which are available on my site but those are just an additive to your diet and finding the right diet for me is still an ongoing struggle but I really really have liked uh, switching to a vegetarian diet and so I've been vegetarian for almost a year and a half and I really like the way that I feel but I eat um, actually a very Russian diet so I, I mean soups are definitely my favorite Food. and I love a really delicious she which is like a Russian cabbage soup or um, my favorite soup actually is a mushroom soup that is amazing with coconut milk and it's so so good so filling and I just love the feeling of eating hot liquid um, foods but I like to have in the morning a fresh juice so I like to have either grapefruit or um, pineapple or orange juice, um, something citrusy to get my day started and it's great with a little espresso. And I don't like to eat very much in the morning because I can't really work on a full stomach. So if I have a gym day, that's normally, no, normally when I eat a little bit more because I've already exerted myself in the morning. So I'll have after my gym workout a fresh juice 
and a coffee and sometimes even a hot vegetable soup before I go to work and then I work and then I have my lunch which is always soup and a small salad and a little bit of fruit drink and then I go and I rehearse and I work until the evening um, and then if I have to teach classes before I have to teach after my rehearsals I'll have like a small little snack it'll either be like a Kind of similar to the Prima Bar, there's a company here in Russia called Bite and they are fruit or nut bars and I don't like to eat very many nuts because it just is hard on my digestive system and it also help, makes me gain weight. I really try to stay away from chocolate because that really makes me gain weight. I do really like Thai food and I love the, the different uh, restaurant scenes that are here in Moscow. There's some amazing vegetarian restaurants that have just sprouted up. And so Thai food or Asian food is definitely my favorite, but you know, it's expensive. So that's definitely a treat. And I generally tend to eat in the cafeteria in my company, which is very subsidized food. You know, the lunch is maybe maximum $3, but it's, I mean, I like to even have uh, work on technical days off because it means I don't have to spend money on um, food outside. I actually am really struggling because my fridge broke in my house so I haven't been cooking at home and so I definitely just try to eat in the Russian cafeterias because they're super cheap and especially during this season which is post or the Lent season most uh, kitchens actually make food without meat because in Russian Orthodox tradition during Lent season you can't eat meat and that's super awesome because there's always an affordable option that doesn't use animal products but I can't go completely vegan just because number one it's super expensive to find the products that can replace the protein source um, that you have wide access to in the United States and I would love to eventually go vegan but I think I could only do that if I was living in like a very wealthy country where you could have all of those different options. In general, I really love going back home because there's so many options for vegetarians and vegans. It's like a paradise and I do what I can here in Moscow, but I don't have very much money and I don't have very much time. So the biggest meal of my day, which is probably not the best idea is, is dinner time. And I really do like having a good sized dinner and then going to sleep. But I hope this was interesting. If you guys have any questions, write down below and check out my site. And I am so excited to be back making videos for you guys. I love you so, so much. And if you have any ideas uh, for videos, write down below and I will try and make them for you. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Love you, bye.